Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Autumn Santia, and here on this channel, we talk about beauty, business, and mindset. Okay, you guys, so I am so excited for this new year. I wanna say Happy New Year to you guys. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video. I've been trying to figure out what I want to do exactly with this channel moving forward with me um, navigating through life and navigating through my new reality of traveling and working and all but you guys I have some great content planned so I hope you guys have new year resolutions for your personal life but not just for your personal life but also your business life your for your craft for anything that you're practicing and I wanted to start back doing goal setting like I used to do when I first started out because last year I kind of got away from it. So I think it's really important to set goals when you're um, doing business, especially in a service-based business or if you are a cosmetologist, esthetician, and you take clients. I think that it's important to goal set for your money goals and your client goals because that's the only way you're gonna know if you're growing you guys and this year is all about expansion and growth so you guys i want us to do it together so i am going to show you guys how i make my goals and set my goals weekly and you can do it for the month but i like to break them down weekly by clients and what i already have on the books and i set myself a goal to make extra so that way i know how many clients i need to get and also you guys I'm going to show you. I created this worksheet. So this is a weekly goal sheet that I've created. And you guys, I have it to where you can download it. So the link is in the description. Go ahead and click on that and download it. And then I will show you guys in the next portion how to fill this out and how I get my, mon my money formula to create my money goals for the week and month. All right. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna make this as quick as possible. And so let's get to it. So this is the weekly goal sheet and a few key things on here to remember and to really pay attention to is the money goal right here. So this is the formula right here. On this side over here, you're gonna put what's on your weekly agenda for that week already. And right here is going to be the goals that you set to make more or the goals that you want to set to add on extra, right? So right here is where we're gonna put the month. Of, of course, it's not the first week of February anymore. I'm just making some mock numbers. So let's get started filling this out and I will walk you through how I fill this out every week. So say for week one, for my appointments right here, so this is what I already have. So I let's say that I have 20 appointments. You guys don't laugh at my writing, it's horrible. So that's 20 appointments. And out of that 20 appointments, my return clients are 16 of them. So that's 16, 16 return clients. And out of the 16, out of the 20, um, there are four new clients. So there's four new clients right here. So your agenda goal is already what's on your books for the week. So let's say for the week I have $1,600 that's supposed to come in from the clients that I'm already taking. All right, so now that we see what we have here, we want to set some goals. And I always say dream bigger because you'll see once you write it down how easy and how quick it is for you to make more money or to reach your goals, right? So with this, I wanna say that for the appointments that I have, I wanna have 26 total appointments. Right, so that's six more clients. But this is also going to be um, dependent on if you are working, how many days you are working as well. So, so say I actually want 26 clients for this week instead of 20, right? And um, that's how many appointments I want. So how many um, clients I'm gonna get, that's gonna be um, 30 but I would like 30. So I would like to do 26 appointments, 
um but i also would like 30 as well so 30 would be good but i'm gonna be okay if i get 26 right so that's fine for me and as for add-ons i would do let's say eight add-ons but also this can go another way so you could either say you want to add on at least to eight people or you can do it in a dollar amount so let's say for um an extra add-ons i could do like two hundred dollars in add-ons right and so we want to kind of create a money goal so i'm just gonna say it would be nice to make 2k so let's do two thousand right here so like i said this can go either way so this is how many appointments you actually want but you be okay with 30 clients as well so you want to shoot for the 30 clients but you will want to see if you could book 26 appointments but like i said this is going to be dependent on how many days you're actually working right so now we're going to do the money formula to see what our scheduled goal is and our new daily goal is okay you guys so this is the part to really pay attention on the formula is very simple but at the same time um it's just easy if you break it down like this so that way you know where you're going so the formula the formula is our money goal which is 2000 minus your agenda goal 1600 so i technically only need 400 dollars more to make my goal for 2k for the week right so it's going to be 400 divided by days work which let's say we're working five because most people work a five day week sometimes i work seven but that's really just dependent on you so let's say five so i at least need to make eighty dollars a day right so what i can do is i can go in and i can add on eighty dollars to um daily or what I can do is I already know I want to make $400, so I could either either add that on as well, right? So that's another way if you want to do it, you could do the money goal that way and that way you can give yourself smaller goals or you could just do break the 400 down to days. So what I would do is I would break the 400 down to days because if you're just starting out and you're gaining clientele, you can add more clients in or you can fill the space with more clients, hopefully. So, so I wrote a little note over here saying $80 daily. So that way I can give myself a little room just in case I don't make the $100 daily. But it's all it is also going to be dependent on how many days you're working, like I said. So I'm just basing this off of five um day schedule so if i were doing a five day schedule of course you could take off any days that you're off but i'm just going to say sunday and monday are going to be my off days right so right here we're going to go down here and then we're going to put our schedule goal in so we already know our off days are sunday and monday right so right all right so for where the 1600 dollars is coming from we're gonna start working on Tuesday. So let's just say um, for my schedule with my clients, that's $200 a day. And for Wednesday, let's say that it's 250. Thursday is another 250. Okay, I'm doing the math in my head, so. <laughs> All right, and Friday, let's do 500. And Saturday, 400. So we're at the 1600 goal that we already have scheduled out. So when you look at this, you can kind of see what days are your busiest days and what days are your slowest days, right? So even if you wanted to slip your um, daily goal for your, um, that you wanted to add on, you can probably do it on your slower days as well or say you're booked and you already have clients if you wanted to make extra and open up another day you can but it's just important that you write it down so that way you see where you're going right so we would want to add 
$80 a day to what we already have going on or you can do the $100 daily. So just to keep it going, I'm going to do, me personally, I always do 100 or more, but we're just going to go with the money um, goal that we already have set up. So we're gonna do 200 plus 80, of course, 280. So this is our new daily goal. So this is what we already have scheduled and this will be our new daily goals over here. And so 250 plus 80 is 330, right? And then 250 plus 80 is another 330. And Friday for 500 plus 80 is 580. And for Saturday, 400 is 480, right? And so when we total up our daily goal, we'll get to our new goal of 2K. Forgot to write another zero right there. All right, so that's what we will do. And so over here, I'm going to go over it because we don't have, um, any mock clients or anything i'm just showing you guys how to do the numbers over here so right here once you're done for the week i'm sure you already know how many clients that you have for the week when you fill this out but right over here what you will do at the end of the week when you go fill the rest of this in because this portion is for the end of the week right so over here you will put how many clients that you actually did that day so Let's say I did, because of course we're gonna have our clients over here and then we have our goal clients over here. So we would love to do 30, but just to push it up a little more, we're gonna do 26, but 30 would be like a really good goal. Or you can do how many new clients that you want to add in. So there's a, a kind of a few different ways that you can do this over here. So say that you have 26, you wanted to do 26 clients instead of um, 20 clients then that's good, but you wanna shoot for 30, or you can um, adjust this any kind of way you want. But what you're gonna do coming down here is you're going to write how many actually clients did you have for that day. So sometimes what I do is I split this down the middle, and then I put how many clients I already have that day for this day over here. And then I'm gonna put how many clients I actually did this day, just so I can keep track of any cancellations, any reschedules, any things like, anything like that, right? So you're gonna come over here and then at the end of the week, you're gonna put how many clients you actually did. And you're gonna put how many number of add-ons you actually did. And what I like to do as well, if you don't wanna do it number-wise, you could also do it for how much, so say you wanted to do your $200 or $400 extra for your um, add-ons, then that way you will see, do money instead of um, how many extra add-ons. So instead of saying you did five add-ons one day, you could say you made an extra $300 instead. It's all about what makes sense to you. That's just another option. If you're more of a person that who likes to look at money instead of like, things that you actually did. I like to look at both, so that's why I do it down the middle and I do both styles, so that way I can see, track my growth, right? And then you're gonna put over here how much you actually made for the week. So you're gonna total up your, because now we're looking right here at our daily goal. So we're hopefully, we're making more than what we made for our actual new daily goal, right? So over here, we're hoping that this is like, what, 300, let's say, let's say we did 400 over here. We did another 400 over here. And then we did 600 over here. And then Saturday, we did, let's say, 500. Okay. So after we finish this part for the week, so what I like to do is on Saturday, I will do them. Sometimes since I'm booked pretty much for a month out, I'll go in and do this 
on the first week of a new month and I'll just do all four of them. And that way I can compare it that way. But sometimes I don't get to do it that way. And it keeps, keeps me disciplined if I do do it every week. So I'm going to go back to doing every week like I was doing just so that way I can um, get myself back disciplined with it. So what I will do is right here, I'm going to put how much we made for the whole total week. So what you're going to do is you're going to add all these numbers up. So we did 300 plus 400 plus 400 plus 600 plus 500 equals 2200. So let's say we did more than our money goal. So that's 20. 200 and then right here you're gonna put how many new clients you actually did and I really like this because it's important to keep track of your client uh, your new client goals because that way you'll know when it's time for you to adjust your pricing to either go up on your pricing or to know when to run a promo or something like that because if you're con continuously getting new clients, eventually you're going to be booked. So at that point, you're going to know what, around what time frame it is for you to up your prices, right? And so we're going to say, did I hit my goals? And then we'll say yes. But if you said no, you can go back and see in your schedule what you need to work on to bring more clients. And usually when I fill this part out, if I didn't hit my, my new go goals or my money goals, it's mainly because I wasn't consistent with my um, social media or it might just have just been an off week where I wasn't giving it my all. So this is where you can hold yourself accountable and say, you know, I didn't do the best or I didn't market or I wasn't as active on social media and all. So that's pretty much it, you guys. It's pretty much straight to the point. So I'm going to go over this money goal formula one more time because that's the most important thing. Like I said, it's very simple. So you're going to take your money goal minus your agenda goal. And that's going to be X amount. So that was 400 that we had. And it's going to be divided by a day's work divided by five. And then we got 80. So we're going to add 80 onto our scheduled agenda goal. And then now we have our new daily goals. And then we have our clients and then we have our add-ons and our totals so you guys it's very much straight to the point but this has helped me out because it's helped me keep track of if i'm growing or not and what months might be slower so that way if you are a planner like me and you plan at least 90 days out in advance like what your goals are this will definitely help you and guys, I definitely want to encourage you to continuously do your goals like this because this will help you scale faster, especially in service-based business where you're taking clients in the beauty industry. You need a system like this to help you. So if you're not doing goals, I think it's good for you to print the sheet out and do it, okay? All right, you guys. So that was pretty easy, right? I think once you consistently do it and keep track of it every week, um, you can print them out as much as you want. You can redo it as much as you want. I really am hoping that it brings you awareness to where you currently are because if you don't know where you currently are, you will have no idea how to grow, how to scale, and how to get to the next level. Um, so you guys, I really hope that it was a great video for you guys once again the link is in the description go ahead and download it for free and stay tuned for this channel for more tips and tricks in business especially if you're service based in the beauty industry um more lash videos makeup videos vlogs all that good stuff and if you have any topics that you want me to talk about drop them down below you guys, I have so much content and so much products coming up to help you guys who are just starting out or who are having trouble finding your way in this beauty industry and finding your lane. So just stay tuned. My website and everything will be in the description as well. And I hope that you have an amazing, amazing 2021. You guys, we can do it this year. I know I have big goals for myself. I hope you do. And if not, I hope this video inspires you to have bigger goals and bigger dreams for yourself. All right. All right, guys. I hope you have a great day. Bye.